Well, hello guys, welcome to session two of my Resident Evil 3 walkthrough. Well, I guess play it through. Alright, let's load up. Resident Evil Nemesis. Right, Ali, where I left off. I overgot. Pink ribbon. I'll put this over here. Can't put the shotgun away for now. I'll kick the lockpick. Let's nice. go. Cool. That dog's still got a flame on. Did we open the store in that session? Ah, oh, we don't. Didn't. Alright. So I'm hoping that you enjoy, guys, part one, part two of the Arizona 3. He's holding something. Next, sorry. And we'll skip. Someone's getting turned off to our stupid dogs. Oh god. Damn, it's gonna go that way as well, guys. To get whatever that soldier's got. Hmm. Right, what's in here? Uh, I guess we'll kill these. There's gonna be a P in the arse later on. I've got a comeback for me. So use that wrench, I think, on that uh, fire was that we just passed. Where the herbs were. Yeah, the court or the kill, yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. It's nice how you can do a 180 in this game, I like it. I think this is the first game that they introduced the 180 system in it. <laughs> oh, more bullets, nice. Have to reload. I'll put this cable back in the box for now. Damn. <laughs> so many herbs, guys. Uh, okay. Alright, I think we're good. Aha, ink ribbon. I'll pick this up. I don't want to run out of ink ribbons. That's a lot of air. Last thing I want. Let's go. Oh, thanks. Damn, that was close. Just waiting for that gap there in the middle of the docks. There's a map there in the wall that we don't need. Damn, I wish I had the uh, stupid uh, shotgun. Damn. Get this tree. It's good, good. Right now, to leg it. Sweet. I don't know if they poison you, I'm not sure guys. Alright. 
Carlos. Alright. Oh. I see herbs. Ah. I thought I seen herbs. Good so far, guys. I remember that I can save the game. You know, it's not like Resident Evil 2 where I can't save it. Uh, or is this the memo that Marvin Will Smith was talking about? About how one of the restaurant owners had like a gem or something. Why oh, you need a manhook, don't we? Yeah. For that. Okay. Oh wow, good job I kept that locked there, guys. Alright, so we've got the manhole, or the fire hook, okay. Carlos, Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill. Valentine. Did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we landed. Wait! How did he find me? I guess he smelled your something. He was. Over here. I can't want to knock him out with this. So. See if he drops anything. Oh, God, I'm flickering. Damn. Are you crazy? You could have barbecued both of us. All right, Carlos. I know the restaurant looks like shit now, but that was a good thing that I done, because it would have caused a lot of problems if we never done this. Eagle parts here. Oh wow, cool. Huh? Oh really? A set of weapon parts, a scope and a slide. A weapon cannot be made from these parts alone. Really? Hmm. Dream. I don't think there's anything down there guys. Just water and a dead body, so Nemesis is a weird game. Huh, hold on. Let's go down there. Let's see if he floods us or something. Because that would be good if he did. This has been ripped into a ton of water guard. Damn, alien much? Damn, he isn't flooding it, is he? Right. Let's call this. Let's go up. Now we've got to try and dodge him. I think Carlos downed them now, but I think that's his first one. That's down. Downed. I need to ask you something. Why did Umbrella send your team here? Our mission is to rescue the civilians. How kind of you. Considering Umbrella caused all this in the first place, yeah, those liars. Welcome with the enemy, Carlos. Look, the we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Hmm. No time for talking. If you can believe me, then join us. Think about it. Yeah, to get out of here before Nemesis crashes through the door. Uh, right. Damn. 
We hit how. <laughs> oh god. So we had all those parts done and. I can combine those parts with the handgun. The V parts. There's a crank there, I think. Let's hear the rest of the crank. Okay, I know what that's for. Is that shotgun shells? Hmm. Do I need a lockpick for anything? I can't remember. I still put a rock for that. Stupid lockpick. What about that? On the ammo. Right, let's move on. Ah, oh, I need the gems, don't I, guys? For that stupid clock thing. This gem. Or jewel, whatever it's called. Gem. Okay. Okay. Have it there, didn't you, Nemesis? Very nice guy, isn't he? Damn. Alright, first hit spray. We'll pick this up. I guess something bad happens. Don't know how long I'm gonna. Uh, Record for guys uh, for session two. Mm. I think I'm doing like maybe three parts or something. Yeah, I heard him there. <laughs> Stop. Might do three parts or something. So you know that equals an hour more or less. If I keep, you know, if I end it at twenty minutes exact. Oh god. Can I go in here? No. Okay. Damn, so I need eel parts B. Ugh. Zombie walking. There you are. Zombie. You're dead. Powder. Hmm. We'll leave that there for now. Oh. No chill, the picture on the table. No. What's this? The place of pain destroyed, yeah. Reporters memorialites. Hmm, that's all it was in here. Ah, I still picked the powers up. How many is the two? Okay. If there was three, I would have to combine two and then pick the other one up. I'm gonna have to look over these powders, guys. See what kind of mixes that I want. Uh, ammo I want. A narrow path can be seen from the window. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Wow. Um. Yeah, no, this is just keep on moving. Well, guys, our first seed spray came in, come in real handy, didn't it? Damn. I should have went down that drain, guys. I just thought it'd be like some ammo there or something. Damn. I wonder if he would steal, like, knocked out. Like that.
Ah, what about you though? Yeah. Alright, sweet. Mobbles. Okay, put these gems in. Seems that there is not enough. Right. It will work now. Mohahaha. Alright, guys, we're heading to Raccoon City Hall. Uh. Trying to think what that power is for. Door stuck from the other side and one on the right. But I think the gas station's on the right that way, so we'll go this way. We need to anyway. It's better this way, I think. To do to go this way first and then uh, go back. Oh my god, you guys aren't coming alive here. Yeah. Ah, damn it. No. Damn. So we've got how many zombies to kill? Three? Damn. Shouldn't be a problem. You know, with ammo and that. We've got a lot of ammo. Uh, oh. Shotgun shells. Um, no, I won't hit them. Because I think there's something important that we need that's coming up. So I won't kick that up. Uh, doing good guys. <clears throat> right. I think we'll, yeah, we know what to do. You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? That's right. Hey, is someone wounded back there? No, Jill. There's definitely not someone that's actually. Oh, this looks bad. Uh, they're coming. Injured. Get ready. On uh, one side of the body. Fire! Fire! Oh, poor guy. Stay together. Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is gonna be okay. Yeah, you see if we've. Nemesis running around here. No, don't come any closer. Stay away. Uh, Mikhail appears to be in pain, so from <clears throat> So, Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. It looks like we should work together. I doubt that, Carlos. I doubt we're no, the only people who can't trust her. Probably your survivors out there. Why? But Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. <laughs> Fine. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. Right. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. 
That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Jim, right. put this on. I'll just do an extra pack finger. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, wow. So I can carry two more item slots. Sweet. Right. 